Okay, this is section 11.2, areas of triangles, trapezoids, and rhombi. And if you had me, was it first semester? Rhombi! All right. As I look at this first picture here, I think to myself, we could do a project, a project where you have to make the entire picture out of triangles. Oh, does that um, make you shudder in fear? Oh my goodness. No, we will not be doing that. But uh, So those are triangles and trapezoids, and you might even have a window like this in your house, where you have a trapezoid. Opposite sides are parallel on a, tra on a trapezoid, so here are your parallel sides on that window. Here are the parallel sides on this window. All right, and of course, fashion. Rhombi. By the way, rhombi is the plural word for rhombus. Okay? Um, yeah, so let's dive in. These are your notes, the information of this. Okay, area of a triangle. The formula for the area of a triangle. <laughs> yeah, area is equal to one half base times height. We'll talk about why this is in class just for a little bit. We'll show you a little bit and then we'll kind of apply it. But let's just take note. Base. This is your base, and the height, just like a parallelogram, is how tall would your garage have to be, or your garage door, in order to park your triangle. And this is how tall it would have to be. So this is called your height. Okay, so sometimes you say base times height divided by two, some of us say one half base times height. I think I have a tendency, I think I've learned it, base times height divided by two, but I think now more often I'll say one half base times height. All right, and it doesn't... Um, this height, I just kind of want to show you that you can move it in here. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of times they show their height in the triangle like that. So, well, so much for that. So you can kind of see how that's going to work. And once again, it doesn't have to be like smack dab in the middle of the triangle. Sometimes you have a base right here, and then look where your height is. Okay, area of a triangle. Area of a trapezoid. This one is not as common. Like right now, do you think you can write down the correct formula for the area of a trapezoid? Which, by the way, you will have to know. You will not have a cheat sheet with formulas on it or anything. So, and we will go through this in class too. We'll spend a little bit of time talking about why it is this particular formula. Da -da 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 -da. Area equals one half the height times the sum of base 1 and base 2. All right. Here's base 1. And actually, it doesn't matter which one's base 1 or base 2. We're going to call this base 1. I'm going to call this base 2. They are interchangeable. You're going to add those two numbers together. And the height, once again, how tall does the garage have to be to park your car in there? That's the height of your trapezoid, and then you're going to take it times a half. All right, so one half times the height times the sum of base one plus base two. And it works, you know, no matter how you move your trapezoid, the same thing is going to apply. Let me show you what I mean. Okay, in this case, your parallels are going to be your bases. So base one, this could be base 2. I know it's not the same way, but the height is the distance between. That's a little curved, but this is your height. All right, and then we're going to take that times a half. Area of a rhombus. Rhombus. Okay. Diagonals. Remember what diagonals do? They go from a vertex to another vertex. So an area of a rhombus involves the use of diagonals. So area is equal to one half diagonal one times diagonal two. Let's draw that in. Diagonal one, diagonal two. Vertex to vertex. Now let's look at height. It's still a rhombus, and let's just quick review a rhombus. All four sides are congruent. Your angles are not congruent, but your four sides are congruent. So area of a rhombus, one half, diagonal one, times diagonal two. 
All right, we'll take a break here, and you'll be on the next video with the example problems.